I don't know why we kept going, but we did. <laughs> Couldn't speak any Chinese. The hygiene's crazy in the night market. <laughs> it was tough. Would they like a foreigner on the night market? And she just looked at me and she like spit it up. Hey everyone, I'm Amy and I'm really, really happy today to be joined by Eddie. Now, I've been wanting to meet Eddie for such a long time because our stories are very, very similar, actually. It's true. Um, so we came, we both like started from a um, Lu Bian Tan and now we both have restaurants. Hi everybody, my name is Eddie Gonzalez. I've been in Taiwan for about 20 years and I started uh, as Amy. Uh, I started about 15 years ago in a night market in Dan Shui. Do you actually, you stay, you're in Dan Shui at the same time as I was in Dan Shui. We were. Be right. I knew of you like through okay. the years and well, I don't know how we haven't met. We ag- we actually went to your to your stall uh, uh, really? uh, quite a few times. Yeah, oh it was my, great. You start with the night market. Our, our, my reason was I didn't want to go all in on a restaurant. Obviously, we didn't have the money at the time exactly. and things like that. Was that the same reason for exact you as well? Exact same reason because yeah. uh, there was no Mexican food at the time. Yeah. Uh, well, there was a couple of, of like uh, old Mexican restaurants downtown that yeah. were like very Taiwanese flavored Mexican restaurants. We thought, uh, we don't know if people will like the real stuff, right? right. Like yeah. sometimes when you do something really authentic, uh, you don't really know if people are going to like it. Most people thought we were Indian food. Yeah. And I'm like, no, we're not Indian food. We're actually Mexican food. And they're just like, well, what is that? The same yeah. because we were like, they'd heard of British food, you know, mm-hmm. like yep. afternoon teas and things like that. But when it, and fish and chips, obviously. Yeah. When it came to like the, you know, people just were like, what is that? You know, what is that? Yeah. It took a long time to have to educate people of what yeah. it was and how to eat it. Did you have the same thing as well? Like, For sure. Yeah. I mean, I remember uh, one time when it was slow, he started, you know, cut up some quesadillas and burritos yeah. and we put them out. And the burritos are, are obviously bigger, right? So, you know, free samples of that. I remember this one old lady, older lady, she, she took, uh, took a bite of it and she just looked at me and she like spit it out. Oh, no. And she just kind of looked at me like with this dead, like stare, like. And it kind of kills your soul and I was as like, well. Oh, you my think, gosh. That's my home yeah. food, right? Yeah. I don't know about you, Eddie, but for me, I still really have fond memories of the time on the night market because I just felt where we were in Gongguan, it was like a real close community and I was so scared for a start because my Chinese, I couldn't speak any Chinese at that wow, point. Wow, really? Non, okay, non, okay. Like just, it's so good now. How, oh, what happened? Yeah, what <laughs> happened? That's learning. amazing. Yeah. People were helping each other, you for know, sure. for a start, I was really worried. Would they like a foreigner on the night market? You know, well, how would they take to that? Yeah, um, But for me, it was a really good experience. I don't know. I don't know why we kept going, but we did. <laughs> the first year was, it was tough because um, I, I still taught kindergarten yeah. from like 8 to 12. And then I came back, prepped food. My wife had lunch for me, prepped everything. And then I went and I taught some some kind of bushi ban or something for two more hours. Yeah. And then we went, set up the stall. My wife was there selling alone. And then I went and coached soccer for two hours, and then I went back to the stand from about six to like eleven. We didn't know what we were doing, right. but but it's good. It was a good it's a good learning so experience. Every yeah. day you like learn as you go along. I mean, you maybe yeah, found sure. some, some some days you just thought, oh my gosh, we didn't think about that. We didn't think about yeah. that, you know. And and actually on the night mark, we were exactly the same. In the day I was teaching English, and yeah. then my husband was alone, like yeah. selling, and then I finished work crazy. six and then do the night shift. Um, so for a period of time, it was like a whirlwind of like you know just trying to support ourselves. Yeah. And, you know, I remember yeah. there was one one year I didn't have any money to go back home. Yeah, and, for um, sure. And my husband like he surprised me with a ticket. I was like, how are you affording are we that? Doing and he's like, I've literally eaten potato for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We sell baked potatoes at this point. Yeah, yeah. For like oh, a I year. remember. I remember the baked potatoes. And yeah, yeah we sold those. Great, and he yeah. literally sacrificed. He's, he didn't buy any food literally for. I didn't even know he's having baked potatoes for lunch and dinner and breakfast. He doesn't really like them that much either, but he wanted um, to save yeah. the money to get this of ticket. Course. And I remember that's thinking, the struggle, that's the hustle. That's you gotta to do, do it. You have to. Yeah. And I remember yeah. there was one point we didn't have enough money. We just shared a like Zenzu Night. Yeah. And for us that was like, wow, yeah. Friday night wow. treats. Yeah. It was like those little wins as well. You think, oh my gosh, yeah, yeah you really appreciate it as for well. Sure. Yeah. For it's sure. kind of quite a humbling experience as well. When you don't have anything, I, you I gotta th- keep going, isn't it? I yeah. think I think what's happened is humbling, but it's yeah. just broken you so many times. Oh gosh, yeah. My mind becomes like I can do almost anything. Exactly. Because we obviously went from the night market store, didn't we? So, I mean, what made you, what was like the final stroke? Why did you decide to go from the night market to like a a bigger, because Eddie now has Mm -hmm. an amazing restaurant in Tien So you come here, guys. It is amazing. Thank you. Um, But um, what was the actual, like, why did you decide to stop your night market and go to a a indoor stall? For us, it was kind of the weather, obviously. Do it. The hygiene, you know, yeah. Sure. Um, So how was it for you guys? Was it a smooth process? How how was Mm. that? 
Do you want to talk about the hygiene? The hygiene's crazy in a night market. Oh my gosh. It, it was shocking. seeing like cockroaches running past, rats would run past, oh, you oh, know. And, it, oh. At like maybe 1130, it was like, everyone was like almost done. We were still finishing up cleaning and it was like a rat parade. Yes. You know, it's yes. just like, just, it's just like, it was like, they just came marching in at 1130. It's like, just yeah, cleaning all up the leftovers, the street. right? Yeah, it's, it's just like, time. Yeah. And you're just like, wow. <laughs> Prepared all your stuff at home, is that right? We and did, because we had no kitchen. Right, so yeah. we had one of those warehouses, you know, and we, okay. we, we kind of prepped everything on our actual cart, you know, okay. and, okay. Um, you know, obviously sanitized it and prepped it there. But it was so, it was still so difficult, you know, and to, from, from where we were living to where we were, were working, we didn't have a car either, so we decided just to do it there. And I thought, yeah, it was the hygiene, I think, that was the most thing. And also it was the, the weather as well. Like the rainy days, you have to, you can't, yeah. you, know, you can't open. Right? So, so for us, like the rainy days were tough, really tough for us at that time. So we paid one ping was thirty three thousand on right. Old Street, and then we had our apartment, which was like another twenty or something. Gosh, yeah. And so that was it was a lot. One of the coolest things is uh, like right now we have customers that come here that used to go to the stand. That's so which nice. Which is really cool. I mean, that's like fifteen years, and. It's, it's always scary when you go to a bigger place like this because it's more, the overhead's way higher, so you have to right. bump your prices a little bit. And Definitely. you're like, are people going to, are they going to take to that? And so far, it's been good. Yeah. So I just want to thank you so much, Eddie, for today, for the chat. It's really nice to like thank get you. to know more about like your story My and pleasure. things like that. So if you haven't already been to Eddie's Cantina, it's in Tiembo, and it is an amazing, amazing, very authentic Mexican restaurant. The food is fantastic. Um, I personally love this drink. What is it? Orchata. Orchata. So it's got like, what is in it? It's like vanilla, yeah. sugar, cinnamon. It's like a rice sort of watery deal. Milk. Amazing. It's amazing. Literally everything on the menu is amazing. Thank you, thank you. So if you haven't been yet, come. It's amazing <laughs> because he is, he's like he's got live chats with every single week. It's he's got crazy. different guests on a Tuesday. So please do like and subscribe. I'll put all the links below. Um, but thank please, you again, thank Eddie. You. It's been a pleasure. And I'm just going to go now and eat this amazing food, please which do. I've been looking Enjoy. forward to for like a month now. Right? Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank I appreciate it. So nice Thanks for having me. Thank you guys for checking out the video. Uh, yeah, Amy's Amy's amazing. She's got two locations. Check them out. Yeah, beautiful Thank stuff. You. Thank and you. And don't forget much. to sub to the channels. Thank you. So if you thumbs up really already, helps like us. Like and subscribe to both of us. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't already, check out my restaurants. One's in Danjo, one's in Xingyi, and we're also on www.breakshade.com. Um, and if you like this video with me and uh, Eddie, Please. let us know below. Maybe we could do a part two. Maybe we could touch sounds on great. different topic or something that like that. Sounds great. Maybe we'll what go to you your place know? to do yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So thank you so much, guys, and we'll see you again next week. Cheers. Bye. Bye.